What is up guys, it is me, Michael Serra, coming back at it with 40 facts on the 40k universe. But this time, however, I'm going to be talking about the psychic powers of the orcs. So orc psychers are different compared to everybody else, as that they seem to get power from the warp via other orcs. I don't know, it has something to do with like the wall energy and being next to a whole lot of orcs. So basically, the bigger the wall, the stronger that these weird boys can get. Now I'm already getting into the lore. <laughs> so let me, uh, let me first tell you guys that 8th edition, I believe, it's dropping today. So head on over to your closest GW store. Most likely they'll be doing something special to commemorate. Commemorate? Is that even a word? commemorate I think that's the one the whole dropping of a new edition so go pick up the box set it's got the rules it's got some awesome figures or just pick up the indexes so you guys can start playing 8th edition which I'm pretty sure most of you have already since the rules have been leaked for quite some time but anyway guys let's continue the lore on the psychic powers of the orcs the warp heads and the weird boys so like I was saying before Weird boys have really no control over their psychic abilities. They just tend to absorb orcish psychic energy and they're able to sometimes channel it and discharge it into a specific form of power such as psychic vomit or some other type of ability. When in battle, orcs are always chanting, stomping their feet and brandishing their weapons in enthusiastic fashion. The anticipation and excitement floods the battlefield in Orcus psychic energy, which is then absorbed by Weird Boys. Now, Weird Boys dislike being around other Orcs, as the pure energy given off is unconsciously built up inside them, and eventually they have nowhere to store it, and they could headbang or headbang into blowing up their heads. So due to this, sometimes weird boys are forced to live away from the rest of the orc settlement. They tend to live in large raised houses built on copper stilts, which then help them channel their psychic energy. These weird houses are guarded at all times by weird boys, and they aren't allowed to wander into the camp without an escort of a couple guards or minders. Generally, weird boys wear brightly colored and gaudy clothes and large conspicuous hats to mark them out from the rest of the orcs, so they can easily be avoided, and also because the discomfort and danger of being psychic conduits often tempts them to hide or even run off when they are most needed. For this same reason, their clothing often incorporates bells, rattles, or other devices that make a noise when the weird boy moves. Weird boys also tend to carry copper staffs to help them earth excess psychic energy. If a weird boy is caught in the middle of a group of excited orcs, things will quickly go from bad to worse, and eventually lightning will start flying around the room and guns will fire all by themselves, among other strange things. Now let's talk about the Ed Bang. So the Ed Bang, aka Head Bang, occurs when a weird boy cannot let go of all this built up power fast enough. Literally, their heads explode, and the psychic overspill can be so great that the heads of other nearby orcs also explode. For this reason, weird boys are also known as edbangers. During combat, a weird boy can build up an immense amount of power, causing him a lot of pain. His psychic outburst, however, is highly effective at frying handfuls of enemies at once. Weird boys often find themselves dragged into battle by their minders and are used as a living weapon, usually involuntary. Now there is another type of weird boy called warp heads. Now warp heads are still weird boys, but unlike normal weird boys, they actually enjoy their powers and they actually have become addicted to the sensations created by the amassing overflowing power built inside them. Now there's quite a few notable weird boys, for example, Old Zogwart, Zagdaka, Zergab, Zagit, and Big Red, but we'll get into them in another video. Now let's talk about the Orc Psychic Powers. So the release of a weird boy's psychic charge is frequently random and oftentimes destructive, but the following are some of the better known manifestations of these powers, beginning with Edbang. 
Ed Bang is when the weird boy loses control of the energies raging through him, causing his head and the heads of those around him to explode in green ichor. Here we go! In a storm of green light, the weird boy and any surrounding oryx are teleported across the battlefield, usually in a random direction. Frazzle Frazzle is when arcs of crackling energy are unleashed with reducing enemies into shriveled husks of who they used to be. Gork will get em. The weird boy's belief in Gork and Mork is so complete that it causes a manifestation of their power. This takes the form of a large green fist or foot descending from above upon the enemy, crushing them until literally nothing remains. The Psychic Vomit Weird boys discharge energy in the form of a wave of energy that erupts from their mouth, much like vomiting fire, because they can no longer contain these orc energies. The psychogenic energy is then vented powerfully in a great green stream. The weird boy feels a lot better after this vomiting occurs. Wah! The weird boy unleashes a terrible battle cry that infuses his comrades with primal power. The Warpath The weird boy releases his energy in a controlled manner into the surrounding orcs, dramatically increasing their combat abilities and reflexes. And finally, we have Zap. Zap is a beam of incandescent energy that is unleashed and strikes at the enemy with the force of many thunderbolts. Generally, Orc Psychers aren't as powerful as other Psychers, for example, those in the Imperium or the Eldar, but the randomness of their abilities oftentimes gets the enemies surprised and usually ends up being pretty devastating on the battlefield. And that's pretty much all the lore on the Psychic powers and abilities of the Orcs that I have for you guys today. Let me know which Psychic power would you guys have. Would you rather have a second wall? Or perhaps the lightning coming out of your face. <laughs> anyway guys, let me know what you guys think about these orcs and their abilities. Uh, next time I will probably do a armory and war gear video. So let me know which faction you guys want me to cover. I do have a playlist on that because we have a lot of those done already. So let me know what weapons of 40k and 30k do you guys want me to cover. Anyway guys, that's all the time I have for you today. Please hit us up on Instagram, Twitter, Patreon, and Facebook for more things 40k. And don't forget to go out there and get your 8th edition stuff. Everything has officially come out now, so go out there and enjoy the new 40k. Expect back battle reports, especially the big one that I'm looking forward to, Gersh's Orcs against Mai Tao. Let's see if the Orcs really have improved in this edition. So, stay tuned for that. And as always, I have been the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I am signing out.